I am an assistant head in the school and uh, part of my job is to look beyond what we offer um, ourselves. Um, and you might be thinking, if you're not from London, oh, well, it's probably really easy down there. But actually, um, even though we've got national and international resources on our doorsteps, our students don't often uh, readily engage or feel able to engage. So being a Kickstart grant recipient has really helped us to tackle that and introduce to students um, activities that they wouldn't often uh, participate in. Uh, my kind of way into Kickstart a few years ago was uh, from being involved in enrichment at school in Camden, which is our borough in London, uh, is a STEAM borough. So I wanted to make sure that the S was as represented as the T-E-A-M. Um, and actually, being an on-scientist, the uh, process of applying and then delivering um, against the grant uh, means that there's some really exciting collaboration. My knowledge has developed. Um, I'm better able to speak about science and science capital internally and externally. Um, and it uh, and some of the questions I've asked of the science team have refined projects. So um, if you are science-based and you've got colleagues in school who might do a similar job to me or who might be responsible fundraising I think put all of those brains together because it can sometimes come, uh, produce really uh, exciting results and what we want to do is to increase our students science social and cultural capital because that's what will give them access to what they want to go on and do ambition is incredibly high in our community, students and families, but often students don't have those various capitals that enable them to access uh, the best universities, the best uh, employers, despite us having UCL down the road, the Francis Crick Institute, which if you don't know it, do take a look. It's the biggest biomedical research centre in Europe. It's an amazing organisation. Um, and they're all on the doorstep and students think, oh, well, that's, that's not for us. I, I'll never get in there. So we've used our grants to uh, open up some of that access and that what brings this all together for the students because um, accreditation is important something that they can show uh, to people beyond school is uh, a crest award so students then use their experiences during British Science Week to work towards uh, a crest award so thinking about what we've done with it we've been phenomenally lucky to receive grants in 2020 21 and 22 um, and I just I can't that's why I leapt at the chance of doing this it felt like a bit of a way of saying thank you for the support that we've had because um, it isn't just the money that you get as uh, Martin was saying you get access to all of those resources and inspiration and ideas and and that can often uh, generate other ideas um, and then this year responding to the idea of growth we uh, got the kids out to Kew Gardens again not that far from here but a place that none of them had been and if we think about um, the impact that 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 one institution has had on science and bioscience uh, particularly we wanted year sevens to come into their brand new school and to get out into one of these really signature organizations so that their minds went wow there's lots lots available these are some of the outcomes so uh, what i couldn't do and i'm blaming the pandemic is find pictures from 2020 they were nowhere to be seen on any of the in any of the files i uh, trawled but on the left hand side of the screen you can see the top three designs from all of year sevens they all did this science design garden design project um, and the one um, in the corner, the pencil drawn one, is the one that then got made up. So we used the £300 to go and buy gardening equipment and plants and pots to put it in. Um, but the other two uh, were uh, highly commended as well. And then the other half of the screen is this year. So you've got a few pictures from Q just to whet everybody's appetites. But then uh, one of the other panellists earlier was talking about uh, the uh, poster competition um, you've got in the middle there just some of the posters and they were just phenomenal I as a non-scientist was one of the judges and was blown away by the content but the way that students had chosen to present it and I remember living with scientists at university and them having to do posters well year sevens eights nines tens have done posters now that will stand them in good stead when they're then being interviewed for uh, university degrees in uh, science. Um, and then you see in the top uh, our growing of um, uh, what of cress um, and also our breeding of butterflies uh, which was another of the science week projects so this idea of growth that was centering on um, biodiversity at Kew then elicited from lots of other members of the science team these various ideas and those butterflies were released in the school garden 
well, a few weeks ago now, obviously. Uh, uh, British Science Week was a little while ago, but they were released um, a week or two later, which kind of extended the idea of British Science Week through. Um, so for us, the funding has allowed us to get the kids out, get staff out as well. Lots of staff who moved to London um, and moved to a job here haven't necessarily been to these organisations as well. Um, get working with practitioners uh, beyond our school. So you can see one of the Q photos, one of the Q education officers, as well as, um, as I said, uh, Global Generation. And it just opens up the conversation around science and uh, makes science something that isn't just based in a laboratory in school, but it's something that is uh, filling the world around our students and providing them with opportunities in the future, whether it's uh, further study, whether it's work, or whether it is when they're 25, popping off to queue for the afternoon just for their own well-being uh, because they were introduced to it uh, when they were younger.